The Sims 3 is now over 15 years old, and that just blows my mind. The Sims 3 came out in July of 2009, and do you want to know what I was doing in July of 2009? I just graduated high school two months earlier in May and was looking for my first adult job. And The Sims 3 changed my life in such a big way because it was the first Let's Play I did on this very channel and it really got me into being a Sims creator. I've been a lifelong Simmer and I've played so many different Sims games and I played Sims for like a decade before even making this channel, uh, but it was just a very special entry into The Sims for me. So I thought, why not revisit The Sims 3 in a short mini series that I'm planning on being like five episodes. But if you guys really, really like it, I can keep extending it an episode at a time. Uh, just let me know. Uh, but yes, we're gonna revisit The Sims 3. We're going to see everything that has changed from The Sims 3 to The Sims 4 and what we're really missing from an entry that is now over 15 years old. So if you guys are excited about this, hit that like button. Also let me know down below in the comments, did you play The Sims 3? If so, what was some of your favorite features that are now maybe missing in The Sims 4? Or just tell me your favorite features in general and, and some of your best memories. Let's, let's chat down below. But okay, let's get into it by first looking at all of the offerings we have. Now I should say I own all the expansions and everything for The Sims 3. I have the complete edition, but as you can see, there is, uh, what is this, like eight, eight or nine cities, um, eight cities, and uh, this is one I always used all of the time, Isle Paradiso, and this one is a very special city because this is the first city I moved into for my first ever Sims Let's Play series on The Sims 3. Now, this city is amazing because you can own and operate hotels here, uh, buy a one-star, busted down hotel, convert it into a five star and live your entrepreneurial dreams. Um, so I think this is where we're going to be moving in to start this series. Now, I will say when I played The Sims 3 back in 2009, I had a very specific way of playing. I would create myself as a Sim and then I would try to either one, be like a celebrity or some type of entertainer and then ultimately work my way into buying my first hotel uh, and then take it from a one star to a five star and beyond. And that's kind of what I want to do in this series. I want to do what 2009 Zach would have done. And I know all of those expansions weren't out in 2009, but ultimately once they were out, that's what I was doing. So that's what I want to do. And I will say my creative sim skills back then were very basic, not saying that they've improved all that much. So you're going to get a very basic looking version of me, uh, but I'm excited to show you everything that creative sim had back then that I feel like it doesn't now and look at this oh it's glorious an open world uh, and it's huge and expansive and there's so many lots there's not just like six or seven lots on this land there's like uh, dozens <laughs> and so many options and it feels like a living breathing city I'm I'm just beyond thrilled right now but let's go to create a household here and uh, before we explore the city and get me made so we can play this let's play and I could not be more excited right now than I am. So let's go in here. Here's the create a sim. You could tell uh, this game was, you know, peak fidelity back in 2009, but it has aged in the last 15 years. And I think people's style changes, uh, our style has changed. And you're going to kind of see that, you know, when you go with something stylized like The Sims 4, that's a little bit more cartoony. It ages a little bit better than The Sims 3, which was more realistic for the time. But okay, we got Zach Letter made here. That's me. Um, you could choose from different types of, I guess, creature that you wanted to be. Either like a human, a werewolf, a fairy, a witch, a vampire, a ghost, or a genie. Obviously, we're going to rock human in this one. We're going to be a young adult. We are going to make ourselves a little bit skinnier. You know, I've been on that journey. I I'm also working out. I have some definition now. You know, we're on that fitness journey. Now let's go to hair here. And I feel like they might actually have my hairstyle. They do not have a lot of hairstyles from what I remember, even with all the expansions. But now that I have like this messier hairstyle look, I feel like I could easily just go with something like this and make it brown. But here's one thing that they don't have in The Sims 4. Look at the color customization for the hair. 
Okay, so I can do the roots, the base, the highlights, and the tips. So if you really wanted to get crazy with the customization here, you could. I could do so many different things. They also have a color wheel for the hair. So each of these I could use a color wheel for and really get a unique hairstyle and hair look. But uh, like I said, I'm pretty basic with create a sim. I'm not gonna go all out, but that's what th one thing I love about this game. You could literally spend hundreds of hours in create a sim. I had a friend when I was in high school with The Sims 2 that was just so amazing at recreating himself and his family to look almost identical. Like I remember going over to his house and watching him play and I was like, dude, all of these sims look exactly like you guys. But that's because they allowed you, if you wanted to spend the time to get that level of detail and customization, which obviously I'm a huge fan of. Not something that I have the patience for, but it is something I'm a massive fan of. So. I was always horrible at this, but we are going to go with our eye color and our eye design. Now again, you can do custom colors here as well. They have a color wheel. You can get crazy with it. I'm going to go somewhere in between here. My eyes aren't quite ocean blue. They're like a lighter blue. Uh, we're going to give myself my Dorito chip nose, a little bit bigger nose. I have the schnoz. Um, lips not going to touch because I never like the lips I choose and then I don't know how to get back to the lips I did like. Um, now I used to pick just styles from the outfits but they're not that strong in the sims 3 their pre-designed looks so i think you're better off just kind of scrolling through here and finding something that you like and then color customizing it now i'm a pretty casual guy i'm gonna go with some jeans i'm gonna use the color customization now this is where it gets really crazy i can choose between different fabrics and patterns and like look at how many fabrics there are it's like loading still look at this okay so like let's say I want these jeans to be like a dark denim. I can kind of choose, oh, like look, this has like little prints on it or that has little swirls. But let's say I just want a simple denim that I can make dark. I can go like this and now I have like a darker jean. I know it's not quite exactly the texture I'd probably want, but if you want to get crazy, they have leathers and furs. They have carpeting and rugs. I could have jeans made out of stone, guys. Look at that, different stone patterns. You could do literally whatever you want and customize it and they have the color wheel they have color palettes they have color id numbers the amount of customization absolutely insane but let's go back to fabrics because i'm basic we're gonna get something that looks like a basic pattern and i'm just gonna make it like a darker wash of denim so here we go this looks like a basic denim pattern we'll go like in a grayish zone there we go looks good a little less blue more into the grays I'm trying to get it right in the middle. Sometimes for me, because I'm horrible at this, too much of a good thing is too much of a good thing. Like this is where I get a little lost sometimes. So I'm gonna, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. I'm gonna accept that. We're gonna throw on a basic t-shirt. Cause like I said, I'm a basic guy, but as you can see, infinite options in create a sim. And then with the color wheel and the custom fabrics, I mean, you could spend days in here. You could spend weeks in here and not explore every possible option for your Sims. No one Sim would ever have to look the same. Like imagine you could get crazy with even your eye color customization, which I think is just insane. Uh, but let's see, what are the differences between these two shirts? Is it just the color? Because I am going to change the color anyways. We're going to go to uh, fabrics. Let's go, let's find something that might be a little bit more upscale, a little bit more nice, maybe. I don't want something too heavy. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Upscale and nice. Like I said, Heather Gray, baby. I feel like I need to change my jean color. I don't know. I just don't like it. It looks green to me. And I don't know if it's because I picked a fabric. Maybe I need to go to miscellaneous and just select this very base thing and then kind of go like this. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the issue I was having. Okay, there we go. Now we just need shoes and then our everyday outfit will be complete. For our other outfits, I will use the pre-selected outfits so you guys can see the options. Um, they're not great, but they are good for outfits that you might not wear every single day. Um, I do remember I would just go with like these basic basketball shoes all of the time. So that's what we're going to do. And I don't need any rings or watches. So let's go to formal now and just knock this stuff out as fast as possible. So I think one thing I want is there was a suit with like, yes, with like this scarf. I love that, let's do that. Now for pajamas, we're gonna just rock like a very basic pajama setup. I feel like I would more wear this, but without the robe, but we're gonna go with the robe, keep this family friendly, family friendly show here. 
Athletic, I know they don't have good athletic default stuff, so let's go to uh, just some gray shorts with probably some, those look like swim swim shorts, but that's okay. I'm not, go I'm not gonna be too picky. We're gonna do that. Those shoes look not great. I am trying not to be picky here, like I said. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be content with that. We're gonna keep going because there's so much to see in this yeah, game. And if this is only gonna be like a five episode series potentially, we can't get lost in the sauce here in episode one. And then for our outerwear, I remember they had one decent outfit that I would use every once in a while. It was like this one. So there we go. Love that. Our outfits are created. Now when you get into creating the identity of your sim, this is where it gets interesting. They have the star signs. Yes, they got rid of these in the Sims 4. I don't know why. But there we go. I am a Sagittarius in real life, so I'll be a Sagittarius here. Let's go to our traits, though. They have a lot of traits. I feel like they might have more traits in The Sims 4 now. Um, but The Sims 4 does have more expansions than The Sims 3 got. But I am going to be an ambitious Sim that is hmm, charismatic. And let's see. What else could we be? We are going to be mm, family orientated as well, because I am in real life. And let's continue down. What other great traits could we throw on my sim? I'm a natural born performer. Look, I'm performing right now. And then, I think there was one I always use down here. Yes, there it is. Star quality. Okay, so that is my sim's set of traits. And we are going to try to live the lifestyle of the rich and famous, which means we need to reach celebrity star level five and be worth 100,000 simoleons. Now, one thing when choosing my favorites, I would always go with something easy to cook like pancakes and pop music. And then my real favorite color is blue. Now let's select my voice. I have a higher voice overall. Not that high. Babo Watso. Just, yeah, so, so yeah, there we go. I feel like that's pretty good. Okay, we are created. We are hopping into the world of Paradiso here, and we are going to find ourselves a house. Now, if you guys don't remember, The Sims 3 is an open world type of game. There is this whole world I can literally navigate on foot or by car or by plane or by boat, and that is super exciting. As you can see, look at how many plots there are. Oh my gosh, there's a house down here. Okay, a one bathroom, a uh, one bedroom house, 16,000 simoleons. Okay, I, I want to live on the water, but not that bad. Now, where is that house? There was a house I lived in in my first ever series here. I feel like it was blue. So here's a two bedroom, one bathroom. We can't afford it furnished, but look at all the <clears throat> options I have between like a basic lot and also like pre-built houses. And then there's all these occupied houses. So here's a house I could afford, furnished $16,000. It is on the water, that's nice, but I feel like I should live inland first, work my way to waterfront property. So we have two houses here. Ooh, this one I can't afford furnished. It does look nice, it looks big, but I think I'm gonna move into this one. Oh, and this is this is the house I did in my first ever Let's Play. So let's get this house furnished. 14,800 simoleons, let's purchase this and let's move in. I am ready to begin my Sims 3 journey. Uh, we have to get a job. We have to live out our first Sims day. We're gonna get a lot of pop-ups because we have all the expansions So I'm sure we're gonna get a visit from this the university mascot get our portal to the future Lots of stuff is gonna happen, but let's take a peek At this house because this is our pre-furnished home as you can see we don't have any electronics no TV no computer uh, We're gonna have to get something otherwise we're gonna be bored But let's just take a look at the decor and design back in 2009 now, yep, this feels 2009 to me. This this kitchen paint like setup too. So so early to mid 2000s. Um, but let me show you guys one thing. I'm not going to customize the house in this episode right now. But one thing I do want to show you is just how crazy the customization tools are and how they translate from create a sim to build and buy mode. Now <clears throat> we're looking at my bed here. Now obviously this bed has swatches that I could easily just choose from and you know go on my way. But say I wanted to spend tens of hours or hundreds of hours getting the perfect house here, I could literally customize everything. So like I said, in Create a Sim, we have the same setup here for our bed. I could have a rock and stone bed, plastics and rubber, paint, weave and wicker, metals, leathers and furs. Let's see, let's go, let's, let's have some type of fur bed. Let's do a zebra print, uh, or let's do like a, like a type of a leopard print, or maybe, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. Let's do a zebra print, but do something fun with it and make it like a blue. And then the wood on our bed, let's go with something that's maybe a little bit lighter. 
Um, hmm, let's go with something like that. And then I can even change my sheet color and sheet fabric. So if I really wanted to, I could get crazy with my sheets as well. So like, look at the level of customization here. I have a safari bed, I love it, there we go. We have a custom bed. <laughs> it's not exactly my taste, but we're gonna rock with it right now. Oh, you know one thing we should do though, is we should get some type of electronic device to keep our Sims entertained because, you know, we don't have anything right now. I know we could run around the city, but let's let's go get this like, let's just get the cheapest TV. I'm trying to save that money right now. Uh, let's go with this lighter color wood. I think it'll complement my house nicely. And there we go, back into live mode. Now, maybe we're gonna start our day off by serving some breakfast because one thing I remember about The Sims 3 and even The Sims 2 was like the level of detail in all of the animations for any interaction were insane. Like creating or cooking this breakfast of waffles is so much detail than you would see in The Sims 4. Even getting in and out of a chair, the level of detail in The Sims 3 was just so much more, oh, I faced my TV backwards, was just so much more detailed than The Sims 4. And obviously, this game was a lot more heavy on, like, your PC. Uh, it, like, I remember, like, The Sims 2, I was, like, devastated when I first got it. I couldn't play it on my computer back in the day. And, like, that was, like, a common occurrence with games back then. And The Sims 3 is big. It's open world. There's so much to do. Every world feels so alive. All the animations are amazing. All the level of customization and detail are just beyond fathomable of what we have today. If you did not play Sims 3 or 2 or even 1 you know, you've really missed out on a special generation of The Sims, but The Sims 4, it has a charming art style that doesn't age poorly. It also is very performance friendly and can be played really seamlessly on pretty much any type of computer, even laptops nowadays. So I, I do see why they made certain changes, but man, I do miss like the level of detail here. And oh, look at this. We got the university mascot rolling up as we're making our waffles. Well, you know what? You're going to have to wait until I'm done. But when I am done, I will chat with you. I don't care about mascot training, but look at this. I could show them funny internet cat videos and then we'll invite them inside because you know what? We need friends and they just dropped off this university basket and we can actually use this to take the aptitude test to go to university, get free university freebies that we could throw around our house. And the paper girl is dropping off our newspaper, which we'll have to use this to get a job. But let's look at some of this UI. So. Here is where we have all the information of our traits, our favorites. We also can see a scrapbook, which I, I don't think I've ever used this, but memories, st statistics, and biography. I can type my own biography. Also, you have your family tree here. Uh, then you have your relationships, your career, which they also have career history. So I, I, I graduated high school at the very minimum. Uh, skills, we have an inventory with our diploma and a little camera. You can also go look at your collection journal or your cell phone here. Uh, then we have our careers, our skills, and our special. These are like little tasks for you that you could get or opportunities. Uh, then you have lifetime happiness, so completing like daily little uh, goals and your overall lifetime goal earns you these influence points that you can spend on different things. We have that in The Sims 4. And then here's our needs. But right now we have a couple goals here. We can gain a celebrity star level, <clears throat> which is part of our lifetime goal. So we're gonna set that up and we can actually save these goals here. Oh my gosh, a mysterious portal has appeared. A portal from the future. We're not gonna go to the future right now. Sorry, sorry my Sims ambitions. We can send a text, join the journalism career. Okay, that could be an interesting thing. So you can basically save four of these a day, um, which are really, really fun. And you can grind these out and get your points. But let's head back to our sim. Oh, one thing I wanted to set up that it wasn't letting me set up on the main screen was our sim's lifespan. So I usually go with Epic. And what I do is like I just adjust like the life periods that you want to be a little shorter, like, oh, baby's three days, toddler's like maybe like seven days or so. A child might be like 15 days. You can kind of get really custom with this, which I don't remember if The Sims 4 has this level of detail, but these age stages are just so fun that I feel like they need to be experienced. And then with Elder, I feel like we can have that be like a shorter lifespan. Uh, but you could also even go in and adjust your seasons, the length of these seasons, what your, your weather is going to be. I can like turn off hail if I didn't like hail. 
So like there's so much you can do to really customize your experience. But let's talk to this mascot. We're showing them our internet cat videos. We're going to invite them inside. Um, but we can build our friendship with Sims. Obviously, all of that stuff is pretty default. But we do need to find a job. So let's go to jobs and professions and find ourselves a job. Our Sim does want to join the journalism career. Now, I've never really played that career. But we're going to see what career options we have. If there's anything that seems more exciting to me, we're going to join it. But otherwise, if journalism is available, maybe we just do it to see what that career is all about. Okay, so music career. No, journalism they have. Political, education. Okay, so let's join the journalism as the paper boy. Oh, goodness. Okay, my sim is officially a paper boy. I just read the paper. Now I get to deliver it. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's ask to hang out together on these chairs. Now, I do remember they had so many interactions. Like when you sat on a chair or in a bed, there was so much you could do that I feel like you can't do in The Sims 4. Oh, we have a little welcome wagon here. I think we got to greet these people. So let's go... Uh, Ask everyone to leave. No. Can we invite everyone inside? Uh, invite everyone in. Let's do that. We got to go meet these Sims. Our, our potential wife could be out here. You know, uh, we got Hinny here who looks like she is from around here because she's dressed all tropically. Uh, so she definitely lives the island life with us. Let's maybe get to know her a little bit. We can ask about her career. Um, you know, we're a paper boy. We're, we're really successful in the world of careers. <laughs> we are a titan of industry. We want to make sure she is as well. Um, and then we can like tell her a joke. And you can see these little symbols. This is because I'm charismatic. That, that interaction is going to go well for me because I'm ambitious. This one is a, a good one that my sim will enjoy. I can talk about family because I'm for family orientated. Um, and then I can also... Uh, ask her sign, which obviously that's something we don't have in the Sims 4 because no one has star signs. Uh, okay, let's see here. We are going to socialize with Heeny here and see. Oh, I want to throw a party. No, I don't want to do that. Acquire an elixir. No, not right now. Okay, so we learned she is unemployed. Hey, I mean, I'm a paper boy. I am basically in the same camp. I am sure I'm earning like $4 a day delivering papers to the locals. Uh, but so, hey, no judgment here. We're all just trying to figure it out. I do feel like we definitely have to go to university to get that experience as well. And with our career, I mean, there's plenty of room for improvement. So I feel like why not? Um, okay, let's finish up this conversation because there's so much to explore. What's this one? Be worth more than $25,000. Okay, we got to keep that one because we're also trying to be worth more than $100,000. And hey, as a paper boy, we're going to be stacking. And you can see here on the schedule too, four days until leisure day. So today is Sunday. So this is a holiday. They don't quite have the calendar like the Sims did. Oh, I do need to practice writing. So I might need a computer. I just don't know if I can afford a computer. Let's go check out computer prices back in 2009. What kind of simoleons would this set us back? Let's get rid of that because I'm probably going to have to put my computer there. $800. Oh my gosh, this thing is ginormous. Um, okay. I will sell this chair. <laughs> I will sell this pot. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I will sell this dresser because we are going to need a desk. We are going to need some type of desk. And I... Oh, I should have probably color swatched it. One thing is they don't let you adjust the color swatches after you play something. You kind of have to hover over this. So that was one thing I remember being like a little frustrated with back in the day. Because I would always play something and be like, no, I wanted to do something different with that. Okay, so let's place that. We need a computer chair, which, you know, we really can't afford much. I don't want to be too picky. Ooh, this one's nice. Uh, let's go with this. It's probably nicer than we deserve right now. But we can still afford a computer, so... Ooh, we could get this laptop, which is pretty expensive, but I feel like we're worth it. I feel like we are so worth it, and I am going to get this laptop because, hey, our career is basically on the computer. So let's go to writing and just practice some writing. Oh, we learned she's a hopeless romantic, and we learned that she's an Aries, which means our signs are compatible. That's great. Okay, so let's continue to practice writing forever now with these tasks you could also stretch them so it's like oh continue to practice until we improve my skill and then we can stop so i really like that about the sims 3 the sims 4 i feel like doesn't have that level of detail but let's get our first writing skill point and then maybe like take the aptitude test for university and and see if we can get it actually you know what maybe we grind a few levels of our career 
and then maybe go to university after that. No, 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 no. We got to go to university first because I feel like we could actually benefit from university wanting to be a journalist of sorts. Um, and maybe journalism leads to being on the news and then maybe we take our news career and try to be an entertainer. There's a lot we can do with this and I'm super excited. So, okay, there we go. We got our first writing skill and I think that's probably enough. Oh, no, they still want us to practice writing more. Okay, you know what? We'll do that actually after we take our aptitude test. So let's go take the aptitude test because I'm kind of curious. I know we're not gonna do great. We don't have like any real skill points. So this aptitude test probably is gonna be an absolute flop. Uh, we got 832 of 2400. We're not gonna get any scholarships. Uh, so communications is probably what we'd want to jump into. Uh, how expensive is this going to be? Use the computer smartphone to enroll in university. And I'm gonna get some simoleons for doing that. So you know what? Uh, we have $29 to our name. I don't think we're going to be able to go to university right now. It would absolutely break us. So it's something we're going to do after we work a few shifts. But as you can see, it is now one of our opportunities. Um, I don't know if we get to see more detail on what we actually earn for doing this, but we do have this opportunity or we could cancel it if I didn't want to do it. But like that is such a fun feature. I do remember your Sims needs being pretty tedious to keep up with in The Sims 3. I feel like they often had to use the restroom, often needed to shower. Like we're only a few hours into my first ever Sim day and my Sim is already like, okay, I need a little bit of everything to be happy right now. Like I'm about to pee myself. I need to shower. My fun is at a low. I'm starving. And oh, I didn't put these waffles away. Uh oh, okay, let's grab a plate of this as soon as we finish writing to where our job satisfaction is gonna be happy. We need to get our writing skill up to probably level two and then we're going to be probably in line for a promotion to go from a paper boy. So they're saying our skill is excellent. I'm gonna accept that for now. Let's go eat. Oh no, don't eat these waffles. Oh no, I just saw that they went bad. Do not eat the waffles. Those are dangerous. We gotta, we gotta clean those up and we're gonna have to cook something else. We're gonna serve dinner, mac and cheese. Now you do have to stock your refrigerator in this game by going to the grocery store. Or, or, or grocery shopping on your phone. That was always something that was really interesting. Uh, text Garrick. We could do that. Raise my celebrity level. Okay, let's toss those. I feel bad. We didn't eat them. We're going to cook dinner really quick. It's already getting late, though. So we got to cook dinner, eat it. And what time do we start work? I feel like as a paper boy, we're going to be starting at the crack of dawn. Okay, 8 a.m. And we're making $38 an hour. So that is not half bad. We will take that. So let's finish up our dinner, which we're making mac and cheese. That is... A staple in my house as well. Uh, hopefully we don't start anything on fire. The dish is of normal quality. Not bad. Let's toss that in the refrigerator. So we have leftovers for later. Eat our macaroni. But look at this. That's one thing the Sims 4 still doesn't have right. Look how fast that eating was. It wasn't like my Sims sitting here and being distracted for like two and a half hours. It's like they just ate the bowl of mac and cheese like a human would. So let's go set the bed ownership to us and go to sleep. It is already after 11. We have to work in nine hours. So we are gonna go to sleep, wake up in the morning, use a toilet, take a shower, and maybe watch a little bit of TV just so we're at our maximum amount of happiness. Now I can sleep until 6 a.m. or I can sleep until fully rested, which would be 8 a.m. You know us, we're gonna have to sleep only until 6 a.m. because work is at eight and we cannot miss our first day. We have a few things to do to get ready. Also, your Sims can sleep much quicker if you get a better bed. That's one thing that's pretty fun about the Sims 4, or the Sims 3, like actually getting some of these better furniture items and beds raise your, your happiness faster or raise your sleep faster or those overall needs much quicker. I know the Sims 4 does that too. It just doesn't feel as impactful. In the Sims 3, it was super impactful and so worth the upgrade. And it was so rewarding to finally get that you know, cozier bed or that better television or that nicer bathtub because your sim saves so much time taking care of their needs. And like, that's one thing I really miss with the Sims 3 in the Sims 4 was just like that feeling of progression. Like finally, I'm getting a better bed, not just like a better aesthetic, but something that's going to help me in my overall gameplay. Okay, time to wake up me. We have work, oh my gosh, work is in an hour. That is not good. We're not gonna have time to watch TV, but we do have to shower because we're stinky. But we should be good. I mean, people should be happy. And look at this, a carpool, a carpool. And there was a car driving by. They have cars in The Sims 3. <laughs> and we could literally follow our Sim as they drive to the work location. And you know what? We will. 
So we're going to run out here. We're getting in. Oh, okay. Usually they drive, but now we're on our work location and we're running into this building. But look at this. It's an open world. So I can literally just kind of drive or, or fly around here and I could go anywhere. I could click anything and do anything. I'm going to have to mess with my detail because like this detail is so low. Befriend all coworkers. Is there one about getting a promotion? Because I feel like we're definitely going to get a promotion today. But let's go back to our map view. Oh, there's a festival going on. The summer fiesta is from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. So we might have to swing by that after work. Uh, is this, where's our house? I can't remember which house we select. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's go back to our house, zoom in here and wait for ourselves to be done with work. We are going to actually work hard today because I feel like we definitely want our promotion. We deserve it. So we're going to bust our butt as hard as possible. What time do we get off of work? So we get off at 2 p.m. Hey, so we could enjoy the festival right after work. Oh, my sim is feeling a little strained, a little stressed. Ooh, I forgot we could actually travel to different vacation destinations. There's like the Sims 3 World Adventure. Oh, there were so many good expansions. I am so excited to explore all of this in this series. I hope you guys are as excited as I am because I can't wait. Um, th these five episodes or so are going to go by so quick. So he's feeling too strained. We're going to do business as usual. Let's meet coworkers actually for the last half of the day and just try to get to know a few more Sims. I don't know why I got so stressed and so overworked so quickly. Holy crap. Okay, I stressed for two days. It's probably because my fun level is so low. I'm going to have to do something really fun after this. Like, hopefully the festival raises our spirits. But we're about to be done with work. So let's actually travel back to where our sim is. And, oh gosh, I think we just froze. Oh, that's one thing. That's one thing I, I, I totally forgot about. I just yeeted us across the map. I am going to definitely have to play with my settings to make sure, you know, we don't crash our game because that would be absolutely devastating. Oh my gosh, why am I so stressed out? It's like permanent right now. Okay, well, right after this, we're going to go to this festival and the stress level should drop. We should be happier. So we just left work. We made $227. We didn't get a promotion and it's probably just because my mood is just so bad. But let's visit this park right, right real quick. And look at that. No loading screen. I am here. There's a festival happening. Uh, we can let's enter the eating contest. I don't know if that's going to give me fun and be and make me happy, but uh, it's something that we're going to do. And we're going to see if it makes us a little bit happier. Go to an exclusive venue. Oh, there were so many good things. Hot spots. Oh, I remember all of that. Okay, so I've decided to enjoy the outdoors today. I believe I have entered this. Or is there just no Sims here that are interested in doing it? We need to find... Let, let's let's practice soccer. Maybe this will give us a little bit of fun. And it's going to give us a little bit of physical exercise. Okay, there we go. Stress levels are dropping. We're no longer stressed. We just need to have a little bit of fun. It looks like I can get a spray tan for $90. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's enter the eating contest. It looks like it's about to start. Okay, so there we go. There's two of us Sims with our piles of hot dogs. It's about to go down. Oh, there's three Sims. I don't know if I'm a competitive eater, but I am going to try to down as many of these hot dogs as absolutely physically possible. Okay, here we go. We're preparing. Look at the detail. Look at this. This is so cool. And I can see all this stuff going down in the background and all of... Oh, we're going to have to go see that. It looks like there's some dancing back there. Uh, it looks like this hot dog contest is giving me fun. Obviously, it's filling me up. And I, I won. I don't know what I get for winning that. But I won. Certain items in your inventory will go bad over time. Eat them or store them soon. Zach is the top dog in eating <laughs> competition. He won a week's supply of hot dogs and bragging rights. Oh, gosh. Okay, so they just gave me a hot dog of excellent quality. I have festival tickets. I have this old newspaper that I can just toss. Don't need that. So let's see what we could do with these festival tickets. Uh, is there, like, games we can play? Is there little prizes we can get? You know what? We should probably go skate for a little bit. You know, we're just having a good day outside. Redeem festival tickets. There are new prizes available for redemption at every seasonal festival. Your sim wants to trade in some festival tickets at the concession stand. Okay, so we will do that. And I think we can get rid of texting this dude and just set that up. And see a game at the stadium. Oh, there was so much you could do here. Okay, we're roller skating, which I believe skating is its own skill. This girl is crying here hungry. Where are her parents? 
Oh, those are her parents. Okay, well, you should probably take care of your daughter. She is on the ground, absolutely crying and losing herself. Oh, look at this routine with our fellow hot dog eating competitor. We are doing some type of skating routine, and we both just fell and ate it. That's great. Let's go buy. Let's go buy something at the festival with our tickets. Okay, so it just looked like these were food to me, but let's redeem our festival tickets and let's see what we can get. We have twenty-five tickets. I don't know how we earn more. Is it just from you know going to festivals or interacting with the festivals in some way? What are we doing? We are vomiting. Oh, that's good. That is good. Okay, well, we're going to go vomit, and now we're going to go redeem our tickets. <laughs> I guess entering the hot dog competition is tough. Okay, so parent approved snakes. Awesome. We got a smoke bomb, sparklers, some type of fireworks, uh, cannons, a rain uh, disruptor. So we have our own umbrellas, some pool loungers, a snow cone machine cart. Let's get that. 25 tickets. Count me in. That seems like an amazing use of our tickets. And now we need to collect more tickets. There's only one way to know your sim owned the uh, seasonal festival, and that's by collecting a ton more tickets. I don't know how to collect tickets, but we will save this for now and see if there is a way. I mean, we we did the food eating thing, and maybe that was a way to kind of collect a few tickets. And it looks like another one is happening. I was going to say, if my sim is over here, I'm about to be upset. We do not need to eat more hot dogs. You know what? We're going to go home before we do decide to eat more hot dogs and vomit all over the place. Uh, and it's getting late. It's already 9 p.m. So we probably should go home and just do a little bit of writing and refine our writing skill. We are going to have Thursday off this week. So if we want to get a promotion, we got to put that work in now. Our writing skill could use a small improvement to be in that like absolutely amazing category. So let's go do that. And honestly, I could probably start writing books, but I want to get my writing skill up a little bit before I do it because otherwise the books just aren't going to make any money. And I do want to earn a little bit of money from anything I put my time into, obviously. Okay, so then after we're done writing, we can use the toilet. I do want to get a better bed. Can we afford a better bed? Like our bed, the sleep is just brutal. $1,800. Uh, I don't know if the bed's going to be much better. We could just get like the best twin bed ever. Like how good is this twin bed? Uh, it's not great. Uh, $1,950. Okay, so I feel like I just need a little bit more money. A little bit. Okay, let's get rid of this chair outside. I feel like that's something we could definitely sell. So let's sell this. We could sell those coolers. Okay, there we go. Now we can get this, this bed right here. What is this energy? Energy six. Energy eight. Okay, this is perfect. And we are going to just grab one of the swatches for now. Okay, is that against the wall? No, it is not. Let's put that right against the wall. There we go. Now we're going to sleep so much quicker, hopefully, and be so much more relaxed when we wake up. Now let's go check our writing. Oh, it's so close. I think I, okay, I can't write anymore. My sim is absolutely exhausted. I mean, we did have a big day. We went to work. We went to the festival. We won a hot dog eating contest. We did a little bit of writing and now it's time to just get some rest and go to sleep. But look at, yes, our energy is filling much faster. Leisure day is approaching, but I feel like this is a great place to end this first episode of this revisit. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, like I said, what was your favorite part of The Sims 3 and what should I explore? What do you want to revisit and see more of? But until next time, guys, I will see you later. Goodbye.